Problem 10 here is like problem 15 and 17 on the exam review. Uh, we're looking at a data analytics situation uh, where we're making business decisions. Uh, the data below relates uh, targeted advertisement clicks and total sales revenue uh, in six randomly selected weeks for a specific company. So these are targeted advertising clicks in millions and then sales in millions. And then we're seeing how those are correlated. So what they want us to do is construct a 95% confidence interval for the slope. And then we're going to round our answers here to four decimal places. So we're going to go ahead and fill in our uh, confidence interval. So we first want to, step one, uh, compute the least squares regression line. So we're going to enter our x values in list one, our y values in list two, and then we uh, press stat, calc, and number four. So I already did that. So here's list one, our x values and uh, list two are y values and then we go to stat and then calc and then option four and uh, make sure x list is list one y list is list two and calculate so our slope 0 0.0407 and our y-intercept 1.0488 uh, those are here 0.0407 1.0488. So that means our regression line has the form 0.0407x plus 1.0488. So next we are going to compute the residuals and then construct a, a residual plot to make sure the assumptions apply here. So the way that we're going to do this is we are going to make a third list from the first and second list. So we're going to take the difference between list two, uh, which is our y values, and then we're going to take uh, the values from list one and we're going to plug into the regression equation right here, the 0.0407x plus 1.0488. Uh, and that's what this is here, 0 0.0407 times the x values in list one plus our um, y-intercept, and then that gets uh, plugged into list three. So this is actually the y-hat value. And then the residual is the difference between the actual y-value uh, and the predicted y-value, which is y-hat. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. And then I'm just going to uh, type list two, which is going to be the second function of two, and then minus parentheses point zero four zero seven, and then it's uh, times list one, so times, and then we do second uh, list one, and then our y-intercept on the end plus one point zero four eight eight. So plus 1.0488, close parentheses up, and then the store button gives that right arrow. We're going to store that in list three, which is second function of three. Okay, and then we press enter. Okay, and then it'll generate the values in the list. So now if you go to stat and edit, you'll see a third list in there. So those are the residuals. So now what we want to do is construct the scatter plot with list two and list three. Okay, so your scatter plot with list two and list three, we are going to do uh, second y equal, which is your stat plot. Okay, and then uh, one is highlighted. It, it's already on here, but notice it's list one and list two. Uh, we want to do it we're here with uh, list two versus list three. No, actually, that's not right. We want uh, list two and list three there. So we go back, we've got one and two, and we want uh, one, one, and three. So we'll go ahead and press enter, 
and we'll come down and change list two to list three. So that's the second function of three. So now we've got list three in there. Uh, now we're going to go to the zoom menu and zoom stat, which is number nine. And here we see our scatter plot. And I'll go ahead and copy that and paste it into our document here. Just so we can look at that. And then the requirements for the scatter plot is that there's no pattern in the residuals. Um, so here we're, uh, we are not seeing any obvious, uh, any obvious pattern. Uh, uh, the vertical spread of the points is roughly the same uh, across the plot here and no outliers okay so everything looks okay there so we've got our scatter plot uh, steps three and four with the ti-84 you'll skip those and those are um, uh, pro uh, producing the residual standard deviation and then computing the standard error of the slope coefficient b1 so now we can actually compute the interval here. Uh, this is the formula for the interval. So that's if you're going to compute it from the formula. So beta 1 is the uh, population parameter. Um, and then uh, b1 is the uh, slope in our regression line. So that's the slope that we found. And then we're adding and subtracting a margin of error, which is a t value uh, times our standard error of the slope. So to do that, we're going to do stat, test, linear regression, t interval, and then enter. So let's go back to the calculator. Uh, we hit stat, and then tests, and they're going to scroll down to linear regression, t interval. Which is option G, press enter. Uh, we want X list to be list one, Y list to be list two. That is correct. And we are computing a 95% confidence interval. So our C level is 0.95. Everything looks okay in there. Let's go ahead and calculate. And here's our confidence interval, 0 0.01095 um, to 07052. So that's right here, 01095 to 07052. Uh, notice the B that it computes, uh, 047, uh, 04073. Um, that B is actually right here, 0407. So that's our slope. And then S is the standard error here. So it actually computes that for us. So our interval is, we're doing four decimal places. So this would be uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 9, 5 will round up. So 0, 1, 1, 0. And uh, less than beta 1, less than. And then the upper, this would be 0, 7, 0, 5. And then we'll go ahead and interpret our result. Uh, so we are 95% confident uh, that the mean difference in sales for targeted ad clicks um, that differ by 1 million is between 0 0.0110 and 0 0.0705. Uh, in millions of dollars. So in other words, uh, that's saying that if your, uh, your ad clicks were to increase by 1 million, then your sales would increase uh, somewhere in between 0 0.011 million and 0 0.705 million. Uh, and if your targeted uh, ad clicks were to decrease by a million, then your sales uh, for 95% of the samples that's what 95% confident means. Your sales would de decrease by between 0 0.011 million and 0 0.705 million. 
So this would be 705,000 and 110,000. So that's fairly wide range there. But notice that uh, the whole 95% confidence level, uh, our confidence interval is positive. So we're, um, we're clear that uh, the slope of the regression line is positive. We're 95% confident of that.